Hello everyone. Today let's solve an algorithm question. Long is the substring without repeating characters. Let's see the questions first. Given a string, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. Example 1. The input is the string a, b, c, a, b, c, b, b. The output is 3. It's because the answer is a, b, c is the longest substring, and the length is 3. The second example is input b, 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 b. The output should be 1. Because the answer, the longest substring is b, so the length is just 1. Now you can pause the video and think about how to solve this problem first. OK, welcome back. Now let's think about how to solve this problem. The naive solution for this problem is just find all the substrings in this input string. And check if there's any repeating characters in it. If we use this method, the complexity will be O n cubed. That's a very uh, huge complex. We should think about other way to solve it and make it more simplified. Today, I will talk about a method called sliding window. What is a sliding window in our real life? Now, let's see the picture is a sliding window. It's a window that slides from the left to the right. If we use the sliding window, the window opened. The place can be adjusted with our changing that window. The sliding window is a technique and is used in several ways in the technology fields. The first usage of the sliding window is in the TCP protocol. The, in the TCP protocol, the uh, whole message will be divided into several frame, frames, and the sender will send each frame to the receiver. One way to send such a uh, frame uh, is that sender send a frame 0 and the receiver give an act that uh, frame 0 is received. And then the sender send another frame and then the receiver send another act. If we use this strategy, it's really time consuming. Another method is sliding window is shown in the picture that the sender will not wait for the receiver's response, but send frame 0, frame 1 sequentially. Then receiver will give an act to confirm that frame 0 and frame 1 are received. Then sender send another frame. In this way, it means frames are parallel to send the receiver. So using this sliding window, can increase the efficiency of sending traffic. Another usage of sliding window is in object detection. When we want to find the people in the picture, we use a window and we move this window in two dimensions. Then if we find the people in this frame, then we can cut this picture and uh, give the other um, modules to recognize uh, the people. The third usage is uh, just uh, like uh, today's uh, question. Sliding window can be used in substring. Let's see a blue string in the picture. 
and uh, we use a fixed lens sliding window. The fixed lens is three, and uh, when the first sliding window put on the string, it cut A, B, A, and uh, we move the window to the next item, and then it will become B, A, A. We can see using the sliding window techniques, we just uh, deal with the difference when the sliding window moves. In this way, we can reduce the complexity. Now let's see the solution of today's question. We use hash set to store the substring. And in this case, we use i, uh, which is the pointer for the beginning of the substring. And the j will be the end pointer to the substring. Note that uh, in uh, this example, element j is not included. We can see using sliding window, and the code is uh, pretty simple. And the, for the complexity, it will be on. I think you will find that today's techniques is useful. Thank you.